hit it. Everybody wasn't that talented. Everybody wasn't exactly as driven, that maniacal drive. It's hard for me to think about my dad as the most important black man in America because he was my dad. I love that two things that he brought to the table were like two taboo words, funk and <laughs> black. What's undeniable and consistently so in James Brown's presentation of self is that he's a black man. He's authentically and unapologetically black. He found a rugged, ghetto way of translating black culture. The energy was in the feeling. You know, records didn't have feelings back then like that. It's the closest you're gonna be connected to soul and where slavery happened and you saw all this pain happen, you saw all this racism happen, and you need to be in from the South and having all those different pressures just squeezed out James Brown out of it. My dad, he was hard. He wasn't soft. A diamond knows that it's a diamond. And in order to rise to the top of the Earth's surface, that has to endure an extreme amount of pressure and temperature. He was brilliant. He took all these influences and combined them, and then he created almost single-handedly this other group. He really believed that he could do things and overcome things. He marched to the beat of his own drum, literally. So it's all deeper than how great he was with the music. James Brown is a reflection of the black experience in the context of the United States of America. That's why James Brown's story is an American story. James Brown, Say It Loud, a two-night event, premieres Monday, February 19th at 8 on A&E.